Nearly two solar cycles ago, we sent the Doctor on a mission. What mission? Time and space is ruptured. Sinister forces could emerge from these ruptures. Forces beyond our comprehension. The Doctor was sent to find the source of these ruptures and stop it. We fear what he may have found was too much. If time and space is ruptured and the Arctic are trying to invade Earth, we need to find the Doctor. And quick. I was once told that between my twelfth and final incarnation, Valiard would be born. Calibrax, let me go. I'm too much of a threat. What if you're wrong? You're a hero, Doctor. The universe needs you. We all need you. We have to find the Valiard. If Valiard is your next incarnation, we'll have you in our sights. We'll kill you. Now then, you reckon we can find the Valiard? Let's give it a go. Your help. Time to save the Earth from the Arctic. Okay, we materialised too early. Good girl, bless you for far too long, haven't I? The flight system is not quite perfect, is it? <laughs> not quite perfect. Quite for the break, song. Ah. Easy as pie. What was that? Okay, so the Arctic are attacking. Hold on! Is he alright? Just unconscious. What do we do? Leave him here. Tars will look after him for now. Right. Someone doesn't look too happy. Nothing quite nice to be on the other side of an alien invasion for once. Well, I have to admit, up there will be better. You have sought help. Well, you know how it is, the alien race attacks you, you get a time machine and get shot out of the sky. Where is the Time Lord? He's not here. Ha! The puny humans can't get their precious doctor to defend them. Why are you doing this? Earth is a planet with many raw minerals. Once extracted, those minerals can be used for sustenance. Food? You're using Earth as a food source. And we shall destroy all life, unless you let us take the minerals. And how are you going to do that? We have an atomic device that can be specified to homo sapiens organisms, only attacking those of your cells. Oh, that's me safe. Any other life forms are in such small capacity and are much weaker that we can destroy them on foot. Or not. We shall claim this planet for our empire. Heard that one before, mate. But then again, that's usually followed by me. What is this? Who is this intruder? Well, I prefer the doctor, but what are you gonna do, eh? You're here. Yeah, just a quick knock on the head, really. Now, what's particularly interesting about Arctic spaceships is that they have a rather special means of powering up. You see, they use a rare method of using actual sonic waves to turn the turbine that drives the engine. You know what else is sonic? My screwdriver. So, He's the deal, warriors of the Arctic Horde. Leave this planet now, or you'll leave your spaceship. And not just using the fire exits. You dare threaten us? Yeah. Who are you to threaten us? I'm the Doctor. I'm a Time Lord from the planet Gallifrey in the constellation of Kasturbris. I'm the man who's going to save the whole universe from whatever threatens its existence. You sought to threaten this world. And when you did that, you crossed the line. This attack, this invasion of yours, it all ends here. You ran from this world, from the whole universe. Why come back now? Because my friends need me. Stop! We shall leave, Doctor. But we will return. I'm sure you will. Will they come back?
Oh, for a very long time, I think. Save the day, then. As we do. With the help of your Sonic screwdriver once again. Don't diss the Sonic. So what are we going to do about the Valley Yard? Do we have a plan? That's what I was worried about. To be fair, we usually don't have a plan. No, but Calibrax is right. A plan would be helpful in a situation like this. If it makes you feel any better, I have no problems with shooting your brains out of your skull. Uh, thanks. I think we better go. Ah, that reminds me. TARDIS key. So that's how you got on the Octi ship. Yeah, uh, slightly miscalculated though. Meant to land uh, behind you. Find the valley yard, stop him, and save the future. Yes. A message. What does it say? James Calabrax, we're going on a little trip. Where to? Gallifrey. Okay then, no time to lose. Oh, I'm right. I didn't agree to this. Calabrax. We need to stop the Valleyard at any cost. I have a feeling I'm going to regret this. This is Gallifrey. It's incredible. Doctor James Calabrax, we have gathered you here for a situation of the utmost importance. We? Oui. Where's the rat? Regressively, communicating with the three of you has fallen to me. Glad to hear you think so highly of us. The time lords, Calabrax. What do you expect? Your snide comments waste time, Doctor. We are time lords, Dexterous. Time is meaningless to us. Not what we face, the Valleyard. So who is the Valleyard? He is you, Doctor. The Valleyard is an oddity in time and space. Being a complete genetic identical to yourself, but being so very, very different. He's a clone. He is what he is. We've never fully understood what he is exactly, or how he came to be, but we do know that he is determined to make sure that the name, The Doctor, is hated across the universe. He wants to ruin your legacy. Exactly. What does he look like? Oh, she. What? Time laws can be females too, you know. Really? That's just his arm. This matter is to be taken seriously. We cannot stop him. And so you expect me to. If you would be so kind, Doctor. After all these years, What's actually in it for me? The Valley Yard will destroy your name, Doctor. I don't have a name. I haven't had a name for a very long time, Dextrous. So actually give me a reason to help. You are the only one who can stop him. If you do, we will be in your debt. I look forward to you one day paying that debt, Dextrous. I don't believe him. Oh, I do. So what about these temporal disturbances? We may have some information on that. Pray tell. We were trying to discover how any being could create such tears in space and time until we realised that no being can. So we looked into the records of the Omega Vault, weapons so powerful they could rupture space-time and lead us to this. The casket of Rattle. Where's the casket, Calibrax? It's locked in the vault of the Shadow Proclamation. Are you sure? I put it there myself. No one by myself or the lieutenant will be able to access it. What about the new Shadow Architect? Who is the new Shadow Architect? I don't even know. There is none for now. The vote is being decided on. So no one can access the vault. I certainly can't. The lieutenant is... dead. But it has to be out of the vault to cause all this. Do you happen to have any records on the current appearance of the Valley Yard? No. Do you? Might be a long shot, but I need to remember. Your lost memories, your encounter with the Master. Yes. We have no files on it. With the Master's death afterwards, we had no need. And you wiped your hands clean of the situation. I very much like the time Lord Castellan. Just give me access to the untempered schism. How was that? An opening in the fabric of space and time. It gives the Time Lords their powers. And you reckon with your memories you'll be able to remember what he looks like? I keep having flashes of something. Some kind of event. I can never see his face. So at least we know it's a he. I need access now, Dextrous. That is amazing. That's what you never want me. What is it exactly? 
time and space all rolled into one. Now then, let's get on remembering. I need some help. I'm afraid I'm not in a helping mood, Doctor. And I'm not in the mood for being shot at. Thanks very much. What do you want, Doctor? I need your help. There's a man named Calabrax and he threatens the entire universe. Why should I help? Because in your future, he kills you. For good? No way back. So I'd be getting pre-vengeance, so to speak. It's an option. Funny you talk about threats to the universe, Doctor. What do you mean? Do you remember what I told you, Doctor, all those years ago? That your darker side would emerge. The Valiard. The time laws have seen that you, Doctor, or the Valiard, will destroy the universe. I, um... They wanted me to bring you in. Not convinced. I, I'm sorry. What? For whatever he... I am going to do. I know. Cadabrax, you say? Yeah. I can't kill you yet, then. But I can't let you remember. Wait! What? I need you to show me something. What do I, the, the Valiard, do? Come with me. This is apparently one of the Valiard's attacks. Well, you let this place go, then. <laughs> Your compliments overwhelm me. Come on. Ah, Vesaurus V, one of the oldest planets in the universe. Indeed. What? There's Valiard. How could he have done this? You know all about the Omega Arsenal, don't you? This is one of many. We have to stop him. What? Are you serious? We have to try. Doctor, if you do this... What? My past self altering my future self's timeline? I mean, it's really complicated and the ramifications could be disastrous. I won't let that stop me. That the lieutenant? He can't have seen us. We need to go. Now. We have to stop him. No, Doctor. You need to face Cadabrax now. The universe depends on it. Also, I'm gonna have to wipe your memory. What? No, no, you can't. I'm sorry. One day you'll remember him. And when you do, you'll stop him. What did you see? The lieutenant. What? The Valiards. He, he, he looks like the lieutenant. Of course, that's how we access the vault. Are you sure? Yeah. Who is this lieutenant? He worked with me at a Shadow Proclamation. He was my friend. I take it he's deceased? Yeah. How can he look like the lieutenant? Same way Dexter looks like your mate. Perhaps. Or perhaps he's just toying with us. We need to keep our heads straight, Calabrax. He'll do anything within his power to stop us. You all must prevent the Valiard's attack. If you don't, there is no telling what the consequences could be.
stay here. Not a chance. Doctor, how nice to see you. Nice face. And Calabrax, look at you. Why are you here? Would you really kill me, Calabrax? Could you kill this face again? A pity. Nice of the master to leave this for me, though. Of all of the places you could have hidden, Doctor, you certainly chose the most predictable. Did you really think I wouldn't find you here? Valiard, it's time to end this. You used my name. Your problem isn't with the universe, your problem is with me. My problem is with us. Me. We're the same person, Doctor. Why is that exactly? I don't know. No one does. We, I, am an anomaly in the universe. Not for much longer. <laughs> Useless. Why do you surround yourself with these pitiful creatures, Doctor? Ah, I know why. Because you care. Care is the one thing nobody shows you. That's a shame, isn't it? A life of everyone devaluing your existence is just a lesser life form. I should have been a god. There's no joy in that, believe me. All gods are really useful for is the ego. You have so much power, so much knowledge, and you waste it on this life of yours. You could do so much better. And so much worse. Where's the casket of Rassilon? Primed and ready to do exactly as I command. Telepathic controls are so much easier than physical ones. James. Did you hear that? We need to find the casket. We need to kill him. We can't. You can't. But I can. James. You're not a murderer. Think about what he's done. We will do. How can you say that? You know why? The doctor will keep the valley yard occupied. Then we can go find the casket. We don't even know how to stop it. Of course we do. We improvise. Where are your friends going? To stop you. It's too late for that. Not yet, it isn't. Not yet. Please. You're weak, Doctor. Why are you so weak? Might have been shot a couple of years ago. It wouldn't take much for you to regenerate them, would it? I'm not gonna let you hurt my friends. We'll see. Come out, come out, Doctor, wherever you are. Basket. It's activating. Why are you fighting me? You don't understand. What we could do, what we could accomplish. Two of me. You don't understand, do you? I don't want to be the doctor. I hate you. Casket opens, it will destroy this entire galaxy. And then I will finish my work across the universe. All in the name of the Doctor. You don't even know how the casket works. Perhaps it's the Eye of Harmony hidden inside. Energy harnessed by Razlon himself. Okay, maybe you do know how the casket works. What do we do? We need an energy source, some piece of time or technology. Like on the screwdriver? Spirit of Caligar, that's it. The energy source is inside. <laughs> if we drop it into the casket... Whatever energy is emitting from it will be counteracted with energy going the other way, it blocks. And then we close the casket and both energy is trapped inside. It makes about as much sense as any of this ever does. The casket should have been activated. Where is the destruction? Where is the power? <sighs> you didn't stop my friends, Valiant. You see, that's the real difference between us. Between good and evil, you and me, friendship. And I know for a fact that my friends will never let me down. I'll kill you! All these years wanting to destroy your name, I'll just have to settle with killing you instead. Dr. 
Walker, you okay? Fine, yeah. Where's the casket? We've got it. What's gonna happen now? I have to take it back to Gallifrey. Thank you, Doctor. Are they good then? Until he tries again, the temporal tears haven't occurred yet. One day, they will. But we prevented them. You didn't change what will happen, Doctor. You merely delayed the inevitable. The Valley Yard will try again. I will. And I'll be there to stop him. Every single time. I won't stop until you're dead, Doctor. You know it isn't over yet. You haven't even found my TARDIS. You will try again to destroy the universe. And I'll try again to stop you. Because that's who I am, Valiard. I'm the person who stops the monsters. I'm the Doctor. Is the Valiard all locked up then? Yep. For good? No. I'll try again. But for now, I think we're good. Guess I'll be on my way then. Unless... Well, you can come with us. In the darkness? There's enough room. More than enough room, actually. You said you wanted to do better, Calibrax. This is your chance. To do what? Save planets, rescue civilizations, and run down a whole lot of corridors. Hey. Do you want me to? You helped us both a great deal today, Calibrax. We owe you. Thank you. So, in all the time and space, everywhere and every when that has ever existed, where and when would you like to go first? I get to choose. Well, unless the TARDIS decides otherwise. Hey, she does that now. So what's it gonna be? Uh, decide for me. Ooh, she will. 